you know, I am trying to learn from my mistakes. I make mistakes in Excel sheets. I make mistakes in marketing. Many mistakes. I make mistakes in financial analysis concepts. And ugh, I don't want to start with my life. Okay, now, I think that teaching or discussing some of these issues can be better done by taking files and I'm going to open a file. Right now, I'm on a file from my favorite person on the internet named Damodan. Not really. <laughs> he does this incredible crime where he says manufacturing firms all have the same kind of uh, uh, for one single uh, what is this interest coverage ratio. They have the same sort of credit rating. And he doesn't use the other other ratios like debt to be done. He doesn't know the FFO to debt, same thing. And he doesn't make any kind of adjustments. We're going to correct that. And then I had this file that came from, this is one of my favorite ones. One, somebody in India, not in India, in, in uh, Singapore, gave me a model. Uh, uh, I've named this, <laughs> I've got way too many silly little uh, models open. Uh, I named this bad model. It looks so fancy. It's got all these sheets. The coloring is nothing other than artistic. I'm going to spend a few videos going through just what this supposedly good model did. This was some kind of model of HT Media in uh, Mumbai. And this is all supposed to be such a good model. What a disaster. And you can do, you can make about five different little calculations. It's not about the Excel necessarily, although I'll talk about that as well. And then I had a nightmare kind of project. Not really, because not. He, my friend, he's just wonderful. He built a, 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 uh, a paper processing factory in Champagne, uh, uh, France, and then he's going to do something in the Caribbean. And then this model oh, it has all these tabs. I can't even count how many tabs there are. And it's got all this good stuff. And then when you get to this, oh, look at all this stuff. And then it's got something really, really fancy. Because every time there's a little cash flow page. There are so many cash flow pages that do the same thing. Can you believe this? I think there's even a little conditional formatting. We have half one, half two, total, half one, half two, total. And I think there must be something with projected year minus one, minus two, minus three. Oh, God, it makes me cry. Uh, uh, this thing, it to, to, to take this month one, month two, month... 12 ah, ah, annual. There's an annual thing here. And look at all these. It's got a merged cell. That should be an impeachable offense. Now, I'm going to close this. All I'm going to do in this video is something I should have done when I made another one. This business of putting 12 months annual or four months quarter, or six months half year. This business of doing that is going to be the only focus of this video. And I'm going to try to give you a step-by-step -step kind of thing. So I made this, and here is the, the, the uh, process. And I did it as part of another video somewhere, and I couldn't find it. If I couldn't find it, how in the heck could you find it? And sometimes, this is one of these things that if you don't do it every day, you're going to have no idea. You know it can be done, but you can't remember it. 
And here is the idea. The last thing you would ever want to do is manually put the sum after every 12 months. There are only a couple of, the, I, again, don't have any best practices. I only have worst practice. And obviously, one of the worst practices is do not change the cell across a column. Do not change the formula. So we'll have some uh, inputs and then we go to an annual subtotal and we make the, the little um, conditional formatting. But this is all done mechanically. It's all done with formulas. And then for the quarterly subtotals, we do the same thing. So this is a video just really on timing. I'm going to fill in in this video the half-year subtotals. And I'm going to keep saying what I'm going to do. Well, Churchill told you to do that. Say what you're going to do. Do it, and then say what you've done. Okay. This one has all of the calculations. These two all work with this little column number. Do you see how this column number says 7, 7, uh, uh, yeah, seventh column? And then, oops, the annual number is already oh, 258. And then the annual number is 259. And then the annual number is 260. Okay. And these functions all are with index match. All with index match. Now, I have to tell you something. Clearly, making a good model where you've got all of the data set up, I think, is crucial. And not mucking it up with, with the uh, sums in the middle. I think that's crucial. I, I'm going to tell you, there's one thing that is a mystery to me. I'll tell you right up front. Please, I, don't, I hope you don't say this method is full of crap. I'm going to go to my old method. I hope you say we'll figure out how to fix this one day. If you press Shift-Control-Plus, after you've done this, it's really slow. If you, uh, sh uh, 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 or Alt-I-R, my friend... In that class, I just said, loved alt -IR. Now, if I, I do that in this sheet, no, no problem. But it's in the sheet that, that, it's in your detail sheet. So, perhaps you should do this at the end. I don't know what the practice is. Now, here are the steps. Okay. First, you need to define in this, this uh, uh, sheet, this detailed sheet, you have to put a couple of, I'm saying you have to, of course, everybody knows you don't have to do anything. But, uh, we're going to put a start of the year, start of the quarter, start of the half year. And each time we do that, it's going to be with the mod function. So it says, take that last year and see when it's 12, when the remainder, if you divide that period by 12, by 3, by 6, it's equal to 0. And then you pre pre create a counter. And this is a counter with spaces. And this counter, we start at 1, and then we say, if this is true, then you add 2 to it. Because if it's the start of a period, then you skip a pay space. Otherwise, you just add 1 to it. So when we go to, in this one, the 12th period, notice there's a space from 12 to 13. Now, when this, this mod worked with making it uh, 3 instead of 12, then we say, well, if that one's true, then add 2. So when you get to the end of the quarter, which is after March 1st, then it skips a... a, a a thing, and then if it's uh, this one, it skips. It skips again, and then it skips again. Okay. And then finally, not finally. Now to to go back, I really should have said we need a. You always need a a, uh, a counter at the top. A counter. Period counter. Okay, I hope that wasn't too loud when I typed. Yeah, here, just sh Alt E I S Enter. That should be so fast. I never started using that shortcut. People ask for shortcuts, 
and you get these horrible long lists, there are only a few that are good. That is definitely one. And the best sometimes are the one you make up yourself. So if I press Control-Alt-C, I happen to have generic macros open. I'm going to make this the color. And uh, huh. I hope I uh, did that okay. So let's color the sheet. Watch that mess up. I should have saved this first, I suppose. So those are, we can kind of see what the, oh, that's kind of nice. It's kind of colorful. But the colors mean something unlike that horrible model that I opened where the colors, it had so many different colors that meant absolutely nothing. One of the first things I did was get rid of all those colors. And those are some inputs in blue. Okay. Now, another crime, fin fin modeling crime, make colors that have nothing to do with anything, just to make it look like some sort of, oh, I don't know what. Okay, then, um, where was I? I got off track just a minute. Okay, so let's, now, after you've put that in, then for the year, put in the year. We're going to need that year because of a sum if. And what I did, I'm not sure this is right, but I put annual uh, totals. And we just put a year here, which I just take the first year and then just add one. Okay? That's not so hard. And then up here, uh, wait, uh, I'll wait with this, but this, notice this gets added, incremented by 13. And then you just make a sum if. And here's what I was experimenting. You notice that my sum if here does not use the entire uh, row. And we make a sum if and click on that entire uh, uh, row, press F4. That's the criteria, that's to sum, and you just copy it down. So you have the s annual sums all over the place, okay? Now, when you do this on a quarterly basis, you want to take the, and instead of finding the year associated with each date, you want to find the end of the quarter associated with each date. And there's an EO month function in Excel, and an E, um, E date function in Excel, but there is no EO quarter date, and there should be. So every time you have a date, you see when the end of the quarter is. And I think I don't use that that often, I've found, but I do use it occasionally. And this is an end of half year function. So depending on the month, before month six, it's always the end of the half year is always June. Okay? And that, where are we? We're at the end of the quarter and end of the half year functions. Now, to get that, if you have the uh, uh, Google Drive, I put that in Chapter 1, I put in the uh, Excel Utilities, I put this thing called a function library where I have some things. One of the key things is the um, hmm, read, This I hope it's called read array. That allows you to start working on all the functions. There's a payback function that Excel doesn't have. There is one of the, I think, it, it crucial functions, look up and interpolate. There are some things that match the second thing instead of the first thing. All of those things, I hope, can be helpful. And then I have the end of the quarter. And this end of the quarter, it's not really done all this well. Perhaps this should be in a kind of different color or something. At least I'll push Shift-Control-7. Um, this, uh, you press alternate F8. I, I broke my glasses, so I can't even see my my keyboard. 
And then you look at the end of the quarter, and I also put an end of half year. The way it works is you say, well, if it's quarter one, if it's, if, if it's uh, January, April, July, or uh, October, then we take the date and we have to go to the end of the month and increment that by two. If it's February, uh, uh, what's after five? That must be May or eight, I think is August, and 11, I think is November. Then you have to take that date and just add one. If it's, if you're already in March, June, or September or December, then it's just you add zero. The same kind of thing works with the end of the month. So you read in the date, you make a little function name, and then I just decide, well, here's the month. We just take the, the there's a, unfortunately in VBA, you don't use the date function here. You use its own little function. There are a few things where you cannot use the Excel functions. You have to use the VBA functions. So it, for a lot of other things, I would put work, uh, workbook, or is it worksheet.function, worksheet.function, and then you put date. That doesn't work because there's already a month date, at least I think. And then if it's, let's go back, if it's, if it's 6 or 12, we just add 0. If it's 5, which is month May or November, you take that date the end of the month and add two to it and so on and so forth. That's almost easier to understand than EO month. Okay, but better close this one. Not really, it's not that important to close. Okay, so we have that one. And then uh, uh, I've gone through this. Now, <sighs> end of quarter. Now, you create the subtotals. Here in this one, when I go to... Uh, when I go to the now, let's let's make the quarterly. Okay, and this is just at the end of the same column. There, are this of course there are a hundred different ways to do this. We take this four, and notice we always add four. Always add four. I just put plus four. In fact, I could have pl put plus that first one. We start with four. That's those blanks. That's those blanks in the counter. Five, three, four, seven, eight, nine. I hope I didn't shout in your ear too much just now. Fifteen, sixteen. I hope I'm not projecting my voice too much like some people do. And then we, 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 uh, those are all the fillers. And we did the same thing for the year up here. We started with thirteen and then increased it by 13, 1 plus the number of the years. That And there, there are three, I think there are three months and a quarter. I'm pretty sure of that. And then we can do the same thing over here. This is the half year. Now, of course, I don't think you're going to do this kind of thing um, very often when you do all of them. But in, in a half year, there are six months and a half year, so we start with the first blank, which was seven, and then it's good to see, and then you add another seven, add another seven, and so forth. It's just kind of a counting. Now, the ad big advantage of this, and then over here, I hope you see that this is some if. This is, and I did it on the whole line, didn't I? And we said sum if, and we sum if on this end of quarter function. I didn't have anything here, so it works just fine. So we said sum if, look at the end of the quarter function in line 10. That's where we just use the EO quarter, the EO quarter. We needed that end of quarter function. I think that crimes and impeachable offenses on these models often have to do with not setting up the dates in a clear manner and putting way I have hardly ever found a model ever, ever, ever where there's not an absurd, long, horrible, untransparent UT, not FAST, FAST, untransparent. FS, uh, what's untransparent? Corruption, I don't know. This is horrible when they have a long formula. Okay. And then we sum the entire same line. So we 
look at the end of the quarter, compare this. Now, now this one, this one is kind of easy, but I, I should sh show it. Oops, I did the formula here. We st take the very first end of quarter, and then you just add three to it. It's just like adding, if this, when this was the year, just we manually added one year to it. That's not so hard, is it? Okay. I thought this was going to be a short video. I really want to make a short video so bad. Badly. Then we do the same thing here. We take the sum if I just, this is with a half year. And again, we needed that end of half year function. That's why we needed the end of half year function. We take the end of half year function, and then we uh, go across and fill it in. Okay, and do the same thing. We sum if on that end of half year, look at this thing, and of course this function this time is this EO month plus six. I'm shouting again. Okay, now, what I did then, after that, then you can start filling it in, and it's all with match and index, and it's kind of beautiful. And what you do is you put a regular old counter in here, just the EIS, alt EIS, enter. So now we're back to the, I've done the sum if, now we put, use a match, and this is, this is in the detail sheet. This one is in, in the uh, detail, and then these are the, in the summary sheet. So we only have three to finish, and this will all be with match and index. Okay, and... Huh. So, let's just use the annual, where we um, put the months and then go to the 12 months. So, step one is just to make a match thing, and notice what happens is this is just the column number. So, I hope that uh, this column number is, I know D is four, right? Five, six, seven. It starts with column number seven. And then if we make a match and use a counter, just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, without any spaces, as soon as we get to number, where was number 12? 11. Uh, uh, adjusted count. Well, there was 13. There was no 13. That's where you plop in the, 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 the subtotal. In, in column 13, in the quarterly one, we plop it in in column 4 first, because there's a blank. So what you do is you uh, uh, use the match. Okay, how about on this half year one? I'm going to put equal match. Now, there is this issue. I'm going to use the entire line, and I tried to do an experiment to see if that slowing down the, 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 the formula was due to the, I thought perhaps it's due, due to the entire line. So then we click on this half year like this, and then you put zero. You, you want an exact match. So you press shift control R. I think I have the formulas off. So e that, that slowing down was even even with the formulas off. So it, it goes to line 300, column 349. And then I'm going to skip back and forth. I guess I'll just give up and make this a long formula. Then you st start going crazy with index function. So then to find our date, we put index. And you go to the annual uh, 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 detailed model, and you just click on the date itself. And you uh, uh, click on uh, the the column number. Now I shift control three. I have another thing. Do you notice how I, when you go back and forth sheets, you make the windscreen wiper thing? It says half year subtotals at the top here. If you want to get rid of that, you press control alt C. And you see it says remove links to same sheet. I, if this is going to take a minute, I better uh, pause. So when you press that, notice now it doesn't have, it took it out. There's no uh, 
thing here. And of course, you can press Shift Control R. And then if you're going to do this, another crime. Don't start making the, the column what's different. Press Shift Control Right Arrow, Control, control Spacebar, and make all of the widths the same. It's very basic, artistic kind of style to do that because the dates might change one day. And then you have, let's put subtotal. Now, I want to say that this is a subtotal. This one is a little tricky. This one, you put a match. Now, you match this number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, against the... Uh, you go back into the detail model, and now we're going to go all the way across to the half year. And then you see, well, when that counter is just equal to one of these, these counters, 7, you know, 14, and all that, F4, and put comma 0, then you get a nice little NA. I'm just going to give up on the timing of this video. And then we get a 1 when it's a special 2. And all I want is a true and false. So I put a if, if is NA. Okay, that's one way to do that. There are about 100 ways you could do that. If it's an NA, then let's put a false. So let's kind of go backwards to the uh, normal one and then put a true. And then we have false and true, so that true is a 1. That NA you can use a lot. It, that, that's a nice little function. And then we just go and put, we have our column here. We have the column number. Everything is really tied to the column number. And then you just put index, and you go to the, to the detailed model, and you click on the revenue line, the whole line, and then you find the, the column number. That's, that was crucial. And why don't you push, push, push a little F4 here? And then we shift control R, shift control 1 perhaps, shift, control, shift down, control D, and all that stuff. I don't know what those NAs at the end are. I went too far. But now we have a half year subtotal. Do you see that? Because it went to the right column with a sum if. And now we've done all of this without any kind of stupid little uh, manual sums. So I'm doing this on the expenses as well. And then we have all the sums. And I press Shift, Control, E. That's just a kind of manual, uh, uh, manual, odd, what do I call this? Uh, uh, <laughs> I made my own shortcut key, whatever you call that. Okay. Rule of lines. I like double lines. Don't just put a single line there. That, they shouldn't even give you that option. Now, one more thing. Let's make this so the whenever it's the end of the quarter, let's put it as a different... Uh, uh, so we use the match. We're going to make it a different color. We... we uh, entire second sheet with index. Yeah, we use the whole index thing. And then conditional formatting is what we're doing now. Okay, and on the conditional formatting, uh, I'll start here. Select this. Maybe this time I'll just select this. You could make this a ranged name because sometimes you're going to insert rows and insert columns. But then the step number one, it's the crucial step, is to go to the left. Do not, I think you have to start at the left. And then you press calculation option. No, you don't. You go to home. What the heck am I doing? You go to conditional format. That's like, it's got a C in it. And then you put a new rule. And on the new rule, you go to use a formula. And on the a formula, you click on this true and false. Now, we, I, I went one upstairs. And then you press F4 one time. And you could put equal true, but you don't have to. And that's going to find every time it goes to the true. And then I'm going to go to format, and I'm going to set this format. Hmm, this is the big decision. I'm very nervous about this decision. What color should I make it? Oh, that's not a very creative color. And then you press OK. I'm sure you, you kind of came up with that yourself. You did a better one. And then it shows you each half year 
when you have done the true. So you keep your model. You never, ever, in a detailed model, put a bunch of sums in there. Now I'm summarizing. You don't put a bunch of sums in there. You use uh, counters and you use uh, match an index and you cannot use lookup here unfortunately because we need the match with a zero. Uh, this was the this was the key to get the column number here. And if you don't like it, you can press shift space bar, shift alternate right arrow, you know, and, and kind of you don't need you know, and you don't have to say date with index, of course. I put those there for you. And then we have our nice little summary table. And I would suggest you doing this all the way at the end, not at the beginning. So I tried to put in here kind of some of the formulas. And I have rambled on enough about this. And it's one of the crimes. Now we're going to get into other crimes which are much more theoretical. Okay? And I think it's a way to uh, learn what not to do. 30 minutes. I was sorry about the length. But I might even, I doubt I'll ever look at this one again, but